Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Um, the Nine of Cups is here with this Moon card. I think that for some, when I see this Nine of Cups in this Moon, first of all, I feel that as things are being exposed, you're going to find a lot of inner peace, um, a lot of deep satisfaction. Now, it could be a little bit difficult, whatever you hear, see, or, um, you know, the whatever truths, of course, that they, they, some of them could be hurtful, some of them could be harsh. But I feel that on the other side of whatever is being revealed to you is the clarity and the confirmation that you're about to receive in a lot of situations. It's actually going to bring you a lot of peace, a lot of joy, a lot of comfort. The moon card, mm -hmm, look, the moon of the three of swords. So something could be hidden, something that is a bit taboo. Um, a lot of ritualistic like practices that, ha that have been taking place that has been causing interferences in your life. You're about to finally see and understand like where it's coming from, why it's happening, and whatever. King of Swords here. Oh, wow. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Swords for me. Sometimes they can represent the energy of like Archangel Michael. Okay, King of Pentacles. And then the Three of Cups. This could be two friends, two brothers. Oh, wow. Here's the King of Cups. So, it doesn't matter what deck I've been pulling today. I'm getting a group. This is like a group of friends with the Three of Cups. You have the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups here with the Three of Cups. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. All right? The Queen of Pentacles will go with the King of Pentacles. So, let's see what this is all about. You can have two different people who know that a Queen of Pentacles is celebrating with somebody. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody could be receiving an offer. An offer here to be more stable, more secure, more abundant. The sun, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, somebody here is is like there's a golden opportunity. The ten of swords, seven of wands, and you're blocking somebody out. You have here the temperance and the six of wands, five of wands. So you guys, you're blocking something or someone out. I feel like you're standing up for yourself at this time. This is bringing a lot of uh, wish fulfillment and, and satisfaction for you overall. You could have a lot of rewards, recognition, different accolades that are coming in for you at this time. But there is something here about these different masculines. Now, we are in Mercury Retrograde. Some of you, you have friends, family members, lovers that are kind of coming up from the past. These are groups of people. Um, but this Queen of Pentacles, the Queen and King of Pentacles will be a match. Um, so you have some type of connection with somebody here. But it looks like this is possibly a past person. And now through networking, through dating or something like that, you've met a King of Cups or you're about to meet a King of Cups. There's a really, like I said, there's an amazing opportunity that's coming in for you. It's going to make you very, very happy. It's You see these cards, it's a, it's a golden opportunity that you are receiving. And I feel like you're receiving this because you're putting it in now. You're standing up for something here that has caused a lot of deception, a lot of betrayal, a lot of heartbreak. And it's like you're getting your wings here with the temperance card. I think that many people right now, I know I've been suggesting this a lot in the readings, is tempering yourself, having self-control, moderation, understanding that a lot of things are not exactly as they seem with this moon energy. There's a lot of chaos, conflict, and illusions. I mean, tons of confusion has been out. This is coming from a lot of jealousy, envy, and other things, yeah, this may have you feeling like you're up and down, like you are in balance at this time. Once again, chariot card here, cancer, seven of cups, but it's like you're going to move forward. Something is going to move forward also as soon as this period of um, illusions and confusion is over. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel that a lot of people, not sure when you may hear this reading, it's timeless, but those of you who follow the channel daily and you hear this now and it's around the full moon time, I would say for a lot of you, over the next seven days, allow yourself to rest, to retreat, to not be too, um, 
bothered by any of the chaos, whether it's things that you see on TV, tarot readings, music, celebrity news, whatever, things in your family, friends, don't really allow yourself to be too um, bothered by situations because the right now in the in the air, in the energy, there's just confusion. There's just illusions. This is just an energetic shift that is happening. We have Mercury in retrograde. Okay, Capricorn season's here. So it's a lot of low vibrational negative energy here that it, it's serving its purpose. You need to see the truth about certain things, but being balanced, okay? Balancing your feminine and masculine energy, transmuting this energy is what's going to really happen. Um, it, it's going to work for you. Behind all of these illusions over the course of the next seven to 10 days for many of you, things are going to balance out and you're going to finally have victor and success. Some of you have been wondering, well, where's my victor and success? Where is my person? Whatever, you're about to receive clarity about a situation. Yeah, look at that six of swords. You're going to be able to move on to peaceful, calmer waters. But I will say right now, spend some time really resting, retreating, going within, doing the healing and the introspection. This is a time right now where you need to allow yourself to go through some kind of rebirth or transformation or at least start planning how you want to do that. The six of pentacles is here. There's going to be equal give and take here. So whatever you're using your tools and resources to try to manifest at this time, you're going to receive that back like in a major way. Yeah, look, the, I'm telling you, the magician and the star, all is well, okay? But there is something from your past that maybe you are looking over. Some of you, maybe you need to look over some, uh, I just heard case files. Some of you, maybe it's some documents or something that you need to look over. But still, even when you are assessing and evaluating things in your life right now, whether it's current and especially from the past, Take from it the information that you need. Take from it the, the wisdom, the lesson, or whatever. But don't allow yourself to be stuck. Don't allow yourself to be stuck in this energy right now of feeling bored, discontent, um, like you're rejected or you want to reject things because you have teamwork and collaboration that's coming up. Some of you, though, there's a person that's in the background working against you trying to create this feeling of a, a burden for you. Okay, 10 of ones, 9 of ones. You may feel like you're in survival mode. You don't know what's coming next. Some of this anxiety that you're, you're actually feeling is because you're doing all of this cutting, cleansing, and clearing right before the 10 of pentacles comes in. Okay, your cup is about to be filled with a lot of happiness, stability, joy, um, wish fulfillment, other things. Yeah, the judgment card. It's like something is definitely happening and it's good, but... It, it's coming right after something else that's kind of challenging. So let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here? It's a lot of heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. The Ten of Swords, whatever it is, so you're moving on to peaceful, calm waters. You're moving away from it. You just kind of need to go within right now, though, and figure out, well, what exactly is this Ten of Swords? Some of you, this Ten of Swords, and I've been talking about this, it's like there's things happening around you, but I want you to go within and figure out where is the root? Like, what's the root issue here? Okay. If you feel like you're being spiritually attacked, what exactly, what are the sins, the iniquities? What is the shadow aspect of yourself? What is opening you up to these attacks? Let's not talk about what he, she, they, them, what they did. Let's figure out going back to childhood, going back, 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 back in the day. What is this emotion that's allowing these other people or situations to have you in an uproar, okay? The justice card is here. Yeah, and the page of swords. So again, this right here is a lot of reflection. This page of swords is you are digging for information yourself because you're trying to seek the information that you need to bring justice and balance into your life. And once you start seeing the truth about something, you're really going to take a stand, I feel, when it comes to a group or a community. And this is going to bring you justice. Whatever justice you're seeking. Like I said, I saw a case. Wow, look. Four of Wands. See? And the Knight of Wands fell out. You're about to become very passionate about wish fulfillment in your life, moving forward, having your good karma, this positive shift or change after feeling very disappointed, having this stress, fear, and anxiety, like I said, especially from this conflict and this chaos around you. There is something in your in your energy, your environment, it could be a person that has really been causing you to have this 
this imbalance. And some of you right now, you need to move away from this person or situation. Either you're around a person that's always like in survival mode. They're dealing with some type of paranoia or fear. They're trying to overcome a situation in their life. Or this is you. But for some of you, you're picking up the energy of another person. And you need to move away from this person or situation. Even if it's just temporarily. Because if you don't, their energy is going to confuse you. And you're not going to be able to keep your eye on your own prize. Some of you, yeah, you need, yeah, seven of cups. It turned out sideways. Before, it was upside down. So, it, it's kind of like you're, you're right in the middle right now. It's like some days you feel like you have it all figured out, then the next day you're completely confused. You need to free yourself. Something here that's confusing you, you need to free yourself from it. If it's a person around you and you, you don't know where you stand, what's going on, you need to just free yourself from it because you don't have time or space right now to, to be dealing with this. You need to have the strength and courage to just take a leap of faith and free yourself from a situation that is just not serving you. It's too much confusion. And I feel like a lot of this confusion has to do with your connection to a person or a group. Yeah, it's time to walk away. It's time to walk away, go on your own self-love healing journey. It's also time for you to walk away for some of you to allow yourself to experience new love because the new love is who's going to bring you the higher level of commitment. Somebody that wants to work just as hard on a commitment as you do. Yeah, the empress. Somebody wants to put in the hard work to actually make you the empress. They see you. They understand you. They love you. They care for you. They respect you. Knight of Swords. This is the kind of person, once they make up their mind, that's it. The Two of Wands is in the reverse, though. You're struggling to make a decision to allow yourself to fully heal and to put something to rest with this emperor in the reverse. Ah, see, there, you, there it is. There's an emperor in the reverse. There's a distorted masculine that you guys, you're still holding on to or holding out hope for, or you're still trying to figure out, can you help this person? Can you change this person? And they're standing right in front of your Ten of Cups. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, the hangman. I feel like you're about to have a very strong revelation or epiphany about the fact that there is something here is not serving you. And yes, Queen of Swords, you need to cut this out. You, you got to let it go. You, you're going to have to take your big sword out. That's the truth. You're, you're going to have to cut this or this or this person or this situation out because you're manifesting a very serious connection here that's coming in for you. Six of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be like a past life soulmate that wants to come in and offer you like a cup of love. But right now, you're going to have to allow yourself to truly close out some cycles and evolve. And I feel like that's the reason why so much stuff is coming out, even with this full moon. You need to really look over what has left you feeling very wounded. I've been noticing a lot of what I've been picking up is it's a lot of subconscious doubts and fears, okay? Some of you, you keep getting um, attacked by like your own pain, you're reliving some type of pain, and I feel like it's time for you to just really do a deep cleanse, a deep clearing away, and just say, you know what? I'm done. Because you've been done with situations, but emotionally and in your subconscious mind, the, 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 the pain, the scarring is still there. And it's giving some of you anxiety. Even when you go into new beginnings, you're still very worried that your past is going to come back or it's going to repeat itself. Ace of Swords, what I'm saying is the truth. Queen of Swords. And I'm saying that you need to right now, you need to speak up or speak out about something or you need to really, at this time for some of you, there's a cord here that you need to cut it. To something or somebody, you could have a bad habit or a person around you is a bad habit or they have bad habits. Or you're constantly thinking about a situation. Some of you, you have a bad habit of being pessimistic and always expecting the worst. And you expect the worst and it, it consumes you to the point that the worst is what's manifesting around you. You need to kind of just go with the flow. But if you have something around you that you know is not serving you, you need to cut it out. Like, I mean, it may take a lot of strength to do this. Sometimes you have to cut off a person that you really, really like, or you have to leave a job that you, you're used to or whatever it is. But there's something here that once you cut it out, and remember, it may, if it's not a situation, it could be a thought or an emotion that you're, you're walking around with. Once you cut it out, though, 
you're going to be able to move forward. You're, it's something here that you you should see by now. You can't move forward with it because every time you try to move forward in this situation, you're left feeling defeated. Or somebody is trying to one up you or kind of get over on you or something like that. The not the ooh, yeah. You're in your mind. There, there's an illusion that you're trapped in a situation and you're not. You keep telling yourself that you need to stick around for something or you need to figure it out. You need to stay the course or whatever the case is. I mean, make up your mind, whatever it is. Some of you, maybe there is something that you want to see, see it through. But something here that is toxic, there's something toxic that is creating the illusion here that you need to hold on to it. For some of you, there's something that's worth waiting for. And there's just some shadow work and healing that you need to do. For some of you, there's something here that's very toxic. And you're kind of giving it the benefit of doubt and you're telling yourself that you need to stick around for something that actually is only going to leave you feeling trapped. The nine of cups and the chariot here. Yeah, it looks like if you move forward with putting it into something, you're, that's where your, your happiness and your peace is going to be. Because then you will be able to actually reap what you've sown. You'll be able to, whatever you've been working to manifest, I don't feel like you've been receiving like all of the fruits of your own labor. When you move away from something and you heal from some type of, you know, tricky, trickster, shady behavior or even something from your past, then that's when like these blessings are going to come in. All is not lost here though, okay? The moon here. Right now, this moon, because of the things that it has you thinking about, this is why you, you're feeling rejected, abandoned. You're feeling a little bit low um, because your mind is thinking a lot about a lot, okay? <laughs> you're, you're seeing, for some of you too, you're seeing the truth about something that even dwells within you as part, that's your shadow. And we talk a lot about what other people are doing to us, but when you sit, sit down and you really think about what you're doing to yourself, that can be, that can be hurtful as well. And, and it, it requires you to, to do a real reality check. Three of Swords. Hmm. Some of you could find out that somebody is cheating or that there was some kind of deception in the past. Yeah, the tower. You're about to get the missing piece to something that your intuition has been telling you. Wow. This right here is like a, <laughs> it's like a blow. And I feel like it's a low blow. Because I see the high priestess here. It's like your intuition has been telling you something. You've been invested or you've been waiting on a connection possibly with a past person. Queen of Wands, the Emperor in the reverse. For some of you, you're dealing with this anxiety that's coming from you finally admitting to yourself that you have to completely detach and walk away from something that you may have really wanted. And it could be due to the fact that someone that you saw yourself being with, having you know a relationship or a connection with, you thought that there was a serious bond here, and I'm not saying that it wasn't. This person could have made a decision to move towards somebody else or they're with somebody else, okay? You see this happen all the time, especially during Mercury Retrograde. You get your hopes up. You think a person's coming back because they reach out. You have communication. It goes well, and then, boom, you still find out that they're still somewhere else. They're not free, okay? They still don't have... They're still not available to give you what you want or what you deserve or that you desire. Some of you right now, your intuition is telling you that you can be involved with the person and you feel like there's a third party. This person right now, that especially is distorted mask and the emperor in the reverse. Somebody could be entertaining someone else right now. And it could be an ex. Okay. They could be talking to somebody online or something like that. 
either a person from your past, you're a little bit heartbroken because you know that you have to let that go. You're reflecting over this year and you're like, okay, 2024 is coming up and you know you cannot take this into the next year with you. It, for some of you, it, it's a final breakup. Like it, it's the, the straw that broke the camel's back. For some of you, you're about to be disappointed because a person that you had high hopes for, you're going to find out that they're shady. Emperor in the reverse, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups. Somebody here could, right now, they may not have their life together. And instead of them working on things, this person is looking for some kind of attention or validation. And they found it possibly with an ex. They, an ex could have reached out to them or they reached out to somebody. And I feel there's something here that could be a little bit sneaky or shady that they're doing behind your back. For some of you. You have the Hermit here, the Page of Cups, and then the Ten of Swords. Again, Spirit is saying... With this page of cups and the, the ten of swords, which it says everything is fine. When it comes to whatever you discover about a small offer from a person that you, you may realize is not really what you want. So it's no need for you to be too devastated, even if you find out that it's not going the way that you want. Some of you, even if you get an apology or you don't get a, an apology from someone from your past, what Spirit is saying is when you look inward and you do the soul searching and you really, really assess and evaluate what's happening here, everything is fine. No matter how much of a of, of betrayal or backstabbing situation you feel like this is, you will not hit rock bottom. Everything is fine. What you need to do is go right back out with your cup out and boom, happiness is going to find you. You do not have to stay stuck, stagnant, and, and heartbroken over whatever this situation is because whatever this situation is, whether it's something from your past or it's something that you are currently dealing with with someone, you already had your suspicions about it anyway. The world card. And you're just getting the information that you need now to wrap this thing way, just done. Wrap it up. It's done. You're getting, it's like sometimes, you know how people will say, of course, you'll keep giving somebody the benefit of doubt and giving them chance after chance. And sometimes God will come in and will allow a person to hurt you so bad that you will finally leave them alone. The world card, here's the Ace of, Cor Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. I feel like soon here, you're going to open yourself up, go back out in the world, being happy and allowing happiness to pour in. And boom, that's when all of a sudden you will meet something or someone and it's going to bring you, like I said, high levels of commitment. It's going to match your morals, your values. All of your hard work is really going to pay off. You pouring into this love and to yourself, working on your connection with God, working on your business, your career, your finances. It's going to allow you to manifest something that is actual, with, like actually wish fulfillment for you. King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. Some of you, you could have a King of Wands that's coming in. We are Aries Sagittarius. Tell me about this King of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. This person could have could be someone who is planning for the future. But here's the Five of Pentacles. I don't, I don't know how their planning works right now. Page of Wands. This person right now, um, they, they could have plans for something that they want in the future, okay? Or you're being advised right now that when this King of Wands comes in, and it doesn't matter who it is, I don't think that you should be too quick right now to jump into anything. The Four of Pentacles here, I would say, hold something back for yourself. Don't be too quick to dive right in and take action with anyone because right now it feels like some of you, you're still holding some kind of burden. Allow yourself to really drop all of your burdens. Even if you are like letting go of a past situation or you're currently dealing with somebody, some of you, you need to take some time out right now to really just heal yourself. The healing is never over, but... Now that you have this level of awareness, this wisdom, um, this, like I said, the clarity and the confirmation, it should allow you to comfort yourself better than you've been able to in the past. Because there's nothing now that is going to be left for you to be confused about. 
So when you turn this page, turn this new leaf next time, you can be truly passionate about something because you are awakened enough to attract the real abundance and wish fulfillment that you want. So for some of you, again, whatever like this disappointing energy is, you really may have thought like, you know what, I got it all. I figured it out. And you could be dealing with something right now and you're like, this is it. You know, I finally figured everything out or it's a person from your past. And you're like, oh, I, you know, we're finally going to get on the same page. It still may not work out. But whatever your lesson that you're taking from this current situation in your life, whether it's, like I said, current or past, it's the lesson that you needed for you to be able to move forward. When you apply this to whatever you're going into next, whether it's a relationship, a partnership, friendship, business, or whatever, you're going to be ready. I did a message, I think, a few days ago where I was talking about the, like, the demon of lust, how so many people don't really understand the difference between love, lust, and loyalty. You know, a lot of men, they, they look for women who are loyal, who will respect them. Most women are looking for love, romance, and intimacy. God created us for love and relationship. Love and loyalty go hand in hand, but a lot of people, they only want one or the other, and it lead, it leads you to lust because if you only have love, you're looking, you're lusting after something that's loyal. If you only have loyalty, and there is no love. You're always lusting for love. So you're always the looking for something. So for some of you for a long time, you've had, it, it's been this either or, and you've been looking for a balance, wish fulfillment where you have, you have it all. That's going to come in for you once you see and admit to yourself that there is something here that you don't have. Some of you are entertaining a person and you know, you're, there's, there's just a lot that's missing. So either you and this person can figure out what's missing and you can work on it, or you need to just say, hey, we're just, we're on different pages and you need to move forward. Or you've been waiting on a person that you really, really love, but you know that that person, they can never really be loyal to you because they're loyal to somebody else. That they're, that they're not leaving. Some of you right now, honestly, when it comes to like love and loyalty and lust and all that, it's like... What most people in the collective are looking for now is some kind of security and stability. And I'm not talking about just financial. I mean, even emotional security and stability. You're, emo you're emotionally safe with somebody that can give you love and loyalty. Not just one or the other, but both. And that means that a person has to have a good balance of their feminine and masculine energy. Women are going to love you. Men do too, of course. But... Women's pri primary like thing is, I want to love you, love you, love you. And I want you to love me, love me, love me. Men are looking for, respect me. Be loyal to me. Stay by, stand beside me no matter what. But you have to have a healthy mix of both for these partnerships and connections to work, whether it's business, platonic, or romantic. Some of you have been missing that or you've been settling for less than what you actually desire or you know you deserve. I feel like this full moon energy now, which is the last full moon of the year, it's time for you to go back to the drawing board and say, hey, in this situation, I have a lot of what I like, but I don't love this situation. The dynamic of this situation is still falling short from what I know I've been dreaming of for myself. And you're going to have to make the tough decision to say, I need to walk away from this. I've been to, if you know you don't want to be in a third party situation, you're going to have to walk away from it. If you don't want to be in a situation, walk away from it. Things that are not giving you exactly what you want, you're going to have to have the strength and courage to walk away from it, or else you're going to stay stuck at a crossroads. And this Two of Swords is also saying, too, walk by faith and not by sight. You may not know exactly what's coming next, but what you know right now is that you're disappointed. And it's also, too, Five of Cups is saying, how are you perceiving the situation? Are you looking at it as glass half empty or glass half full? How are you perceiving the situation? This is why the Hermit card keeps coming out because you need to address your own inner child and wounds and figure out, are you, are you in a situation where there is peace, but you're so used to chaos that now you're looking for chaos? <laughs> How are you perceiving the situation that it has now become your reality? Is it really a problem? Or are you creating a problem? That's why some of you, you really need to allow this time for this 
confusion to clear away, but this confusion will clear away as you ground yourself and you figure out what you truly want. The three of wands is here. Okay, so what's coming in is some type of fast moving energy or communication. But this could be an argument or some type of chaos or conflict. Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Some of you could be, um, you know, it is still like the holiday time. People are still traveling. People are off work. Some of you really could um, I'm, I, everything, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see it in more than one way. Some of you, you're, you're, you're fussing, fighting, arguing, or you are not happy with the way someone is communicating. Um, there could be distance between you and this person, or there is travel. Um, you and another person right now, you could be in two different places for the holidays or whatever. There are some type of issues with communication. Some of you right now, a person who lives at a distance, maybe because people are off work, kids are out of school, whatever. Somebody may be trying to rush towards you to see you, to communicate with you. And I feel like this is this is giving you some kind of anxiety because you can sense it. And it may not be a situation that you're ready to face or deal with. Because some of you, you, get, you can just sense that whoever is trying to quickly rush towards you that it's a disappointing situation and a lot of you are not ready to tell a person that like you can't deal with them or you're not ready to tell hear them tell you that they're not ready for what you want. it's something here that i feel somebody you're trying to avoid but you're not going to be able to avoid it you're going to have to actually face this the two of cups this has to do with the relationship yeah, you're going to have to face this. Three of Pentacles. This is a relationship where some of you, like, you've been collaborating or teaming up with a person, possibly working with them. Yeah, it's Five of Cups. It's some kind of disappointment here. Two of Pentacles, because somebody is juggling. Either somebody is juggling, yeah, somebody is juggling. You're going to have to leave this person out in the cold or they're going to leave you out in the cold. They're juggling right now. They could be juggling because of family finances or they're interested in somebody else or entertaining somebody else. Whatever it is, though, somebody, they're just not in the place to really give you what you want. Yeah, somebody is moving very slow. I feel like right now with the four of swords, you're trying to heal, but you've been extremely delayed in this situation. And the queen of cups is here. It's like, you know, you have this love, you want to receive love, but there's delays. In these delays, this is the best time for you to actually allow yourself to have an awakening. This may be somewhat of a rude awakening. Yeah, it could be disappointing with the four of swords here. You may need to take some time out because somebody is coming to you with some kind of information, I feel. And I don't think that it's, you're about to hear what you want to hear from somebody. But it's like on the flip side, you're not hearing what you want to hear in one situation. But you're going to get the new, like, so it's like you, you may go through a breakup or something, but then you're going to get like a promotion at work. You know what I'm saying? It's like the trash is kind of taking itself out. You know, something here is disappointing, but as soon as you have this disappointment, it's, it's being divinely guided because it's here to like clear your path so that something better can come in anyway. Let me see if there's anything else I can get from this. I'm not getting all disappointments. It's just sometimes the truth that you get, I mean, it, the truth can sometimes hurt or be disappointing. But again, like I said, the, the, the road will be clear for you to charge your head and your chariot into your this new season of abundance. Something here is like dead weight. It's holding on to some kind of false hope or something and it, it's just it's not serving you the lovers and the nine of cups okay so this is wish fulfillment and a connection okay happiness eight of pentacles some of you you're going to find a lot of wish fulfillment in just working working on yourself working on some type of creative project yeah definitely getting to your money so for some of you right now 
a situation that is being revealed to you that leaves you disappointed maybe about a personal relationship is going to push you to working more like on yourself or like I said, some kind of project. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is you right now taking time out to allow yourself to be passionate and creative. The Page of Wands is like starting something new. It's optimism. It's passion. The Page of Pentacles, this could be some kind of brand new business endeavor, a creative project, Six of Cups, something that you've done in the past that you're re it's like you're revisiting something. King of Wands here. Why is the King of Wands coming out? The star. Some of you, this King of Wands, this is the second time that the King of Wands has come out for some of you as, as put like um, a possible new love interest. Or this is you. Or, you know, if this is somebody in your life or whatever, like this situation, maybe you're healing something because not everybody is going through a breakthrough. Some people can communicate and you can work through your challenges. I do see that for some of you. Um, like choosing to work through things with a person. Especially if somebody has been juggling and it's not juggling due to like cheating or a third party. Maybe they're juggling because, you know, with the world card here, there's distance between the two of you or there's financial challenges or someone has family challenges. Things like that is easier to understand, but, you know, nobody really wants to be juggled with another person, you know, like another romantic interest. You have the nine of cups in the world. There's about to, this is elevation though. It's happening. Eight of Pentacles, you know, four of swords and the five of pentacles. This is working very hard on healing. Some of you are working really, really hard on healing some kind of rejection or abandonment wound. Like deep healing here. It's something that maybe you're working on something that's helping you heal or it's going to be something that you're creating that's even going to help other people heal. This is going to be, bring a very, very positive shift or change in your life. Let me see something. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You're, you're really putting work into this. I feel like some of you are in that energy too of like you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're tired of being left out in the cold, feeling rejected. You're tired of, for some of you, being single alone. You're tired of financial issues. And you're really getting like that, that oomph back where you're like, okay, I need to, I need to make some changes, you know? And it's coming in. It's going to come in fast too. Look at that. The fool and the freaking high priestess. Told you. You're you're about to start trusting like your own gut, your own instincts, your own intuition. And by doing that, it's leading you to the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you definitely are about to be working on some type of business or project that's going to bring you a lot of wish fulfillment. And it has something to do with healing. Like healing, spirituality, or something. Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Whatever this new opportunity is, you need to keep it to yourself. Because I feel like if you start talking to people about it, their opinions are going to start confusing you. Yeah. The moon here, this is something that it, it will probably be safe if you want things to be balanced out for you to keep it to yourself. I just, I wouldn't say much to it, much about it. The seven of swords, yeah. You don't need to be in the energy right now of looking over your shoulder or feeling confused. That's the truth, okay? Something here in your life is already too confusing. If you add people to whatever you're doing, for one, and you're also, you need to not open yourself up to monitoring spirits either. Some of you, it's something, it, it, you keep trying to pursue it, but there's an uh, energy that's monitoring you. You cut that out by no longer sharing. Some of you, you're still in your head about a king of pentacles from the past. Six of cups, king of pentacles, and here's the eight of swords. Yeah. You're still trying to figure out. You're still trying to research and figure out, is, is it best for you to leave this person behind? And I feel like if you... 
look into the situation and see the situation for what it truly is, you will realize that you actually have more success when you're not dealing with this person because there's something here that causes confusion. So some of you, you have a king of pentacles from your past. Cancer, well, it could be a cancer. That's a water sign, but Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I mean, six of cups could be a water energy. But then it looks like here, the lovers, you're choosing to go towards a person or a connection that may be healing that allows you to be your true authentic self. And that may be with the king of wands. For some of you, this king of pentacles from the past, this person, they're like the emperor in the reverse. They may be sorry for something that they've done to you. Yeah, but this person was always very cold and detached because there's always a third party. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you may be meeting somebody. Your guard may be up because you're still trying to heal from this past situation. Yeah, look, the Emperor in the reverse again. Somebody left you feeling a bit scarred and scorned. But Ace of Cups, new love is coming in. And business opportunities. You could meet somebody that you work with or who you're going to have some kind of partnership or collaboration with. Queen of Swords, yeah. You're going to have to <laughs> stand on business here. You're still conflicted and a bit heartbroken about a situation. Yeah. But don't be for too long because victory and success is here, Divine Feminine. This situation, whatever it is, it made you stronger. Whether it's a really old situation or something that you're dealing with right now. Something is coming in, though. Let me see. Let me get a different deal. Empress and a 61. I like that. So whatever you are working to manifest, it's going to be successful. Child, I'm going to put these cards in here the wrong way. I'm not going to be flipped over the wrong way. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did I do that? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I just saw soulmates. Some of you, I'm I'm hearing Tiana Taylor. Somebody's name could be Tiana or Taylor. Um, I'm hearing that song, Bear, Bear With Me, that she had. So some of you, either you or another person are saying, like, Bear With Me. Because you could be coming out of something that has been very difficult. And to go into something fairly healthy... Um, it's challenging for you because yeah, clean up. You're still cleaning, cleaning up something from your life. You're still decluttering your mind from something, some type of negative situation. Somebody here could be cleaning up like some kind of, um, business situation, a legal situation, but somebody may be ready to make something official. But like I said, you've been trying to clean up something like get rid of these old emotions block something out possibly from the past you have the dice card here yeah it's time for you to take risk and get out of your comfort zone and you will attract a lot of luck and abundance you have magnetic and luck here so this is good fortune it is a positive shift or change coming some of you your energy is going to become very magnetic like you're going to start attracting things in your life that are actually going to make you happy like opportunities and people. You're going to start like feeling happy about yourself. Some of you may start learning something new or you're, you know what? Also, you're going to start feeling a lot of peace and overall contentment because of what you learn. It's very empowering to know that like you've made it through some kind of karmic cycle or situation. E eventually, you're going to accept this and you're going to have like this appreciation for it. You're going to be happy about where you are. You're going to start being happy that some type of rejection was here and, and you're going to see it as, as protection. But for a while, it's like you've been torn in between two different paths or two different people trying to balance things out. So you've been in transition for a while, feeling very tested, trying to figure out what's true and what's not. Yeah, and there are secrets coming out. So you could have felt like there was something here that like there was some kind of unfinished business. Some of you too, right, with unfinished. Also, it's, it says tying up loose ends. 
and seeing things through. But this secrets card, for some of you, you feel like something is unfinished and it's time for you to go ahead and close it out. With this secrets though, for some of you, whatever you're working on next, I cannot stress this enough. You really need to keep like keep it to yourself. You need to move in silence. Some of you, again, too, th this same energy is coming up where you really may find out that somebody has been holding back the fact that they, they, they have some kind of unfinished business elsewhere or this is you. Some of you, even when it comes to your shadow work here, something was not complete. You may have really thought you were over something, but I feel like something is presenting itself again and it's showing you that maybe you're not quite over it. And you have man, lightning, and answers here. So some type of secrets could be coming out about a, a man that you're dealing with or that you dealt with in the past. Or you have a man that's entering your life and they could be embracing some kind of life le lessons or shadow work right now. There's going to be closure from the past though. There's... You have a man that's getting closure from his past that may be pursuing you. And at the same time, for some of you, you're getting closure about a man from your past and you're closing that, that cycle out. Man or woman. Take your hair resume. Yeah, that's right. Burnout. You have burnout, ghosting, and finances. An angel, you're being divinely guided and asked to ask like your spiritual team for help. Some of you need to ask your spiritual team to help in cleansing and clearing away karmic debts. Some of you need to still heal. Like I said, we're ghosting here. You've had people who have ghosted you or cut off communication or, or, you know, made you feel rejected. You could be ghosting somebody, too, because of their financial issues and you're burnt out and trying to deal with this situation or this person. Some of you could feel like trying to help a friend or a family member financially or whatever is starting to burn you out. And you're being divinely guided away from this person or this situation. Yeah. And that's karmic justice. That's going to balance things out for you. It's going to balance things out and allow for some of you to finally have the good health, the mental state, the, the clarity that you need to be able to start a family. It's something here. It's just too much of a burden to you. And, and for many of you, it's a person. Or your your job or something, it's it's just too much. It's causing you to feel angry. And you need to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that you need to put an end to something. Mm. Now, wow. <laughs> Well, I don't know if this is a message for me or what, but for some of you, remember I said it earlier, for some of you, you may do some work in spirituality. Somebody out here, you may be advised to change something that you're doing for money when it comes to spirituality. Your intuition is telling you something like you, this card says intense emotions and proceed with caution and then um, big transformation dead end. Some of you, if you're doing something like in the healing community, it's like in tarot or something like that. This card, it says occult and esoteric knowledge and stepping into your spiritual power, leadership and potential. Some of you, you're being guided to finally step up and embrace your spiritual journey and maybe share it with others, have like a spiritually based business. For some of you, you're some, you could be in the healing community and you may be advised that you need to stop sharing something that you're doing, that you need to change something that you're doing 
when it comes to like spiritual or esoteric knowledge or something like that. Because the potential card is here. It says new business requires hard work. Ideas have potential for growth. So for some of you, you may be thinking about expanding, meaning you may be thinking now about offering some type of new product or service for your business. So let's say, for instance, if you read tarot, you may be deciding now that you want to do something with astrology or um, if you do Reiki, you may be deciding, you know, hey, I, I think I want to go and get certified to do yoga, too. It, it, this, this energy, I'm hearing the word diversify. Yeah, you have a rare gift and you may want to start diversifying whatever you're doing, especially like for work or creative things. And some of you, honey, there's a third party energy out here that is truly, truly just constantly bothering you because you're about to receive some kind of good news. Like somebody, this could be a third party. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, if you have a person in your life right now, you feel like they are dealing with another person or maybe someone that they have children with, you feel like there's just something here that, yeah, snake. <laughs> you need to let this situation go. Because somebody is hiding a third party. Yep. You need to be careful of who you trust. Because you have a friend, a family member, or you could have a lover that's jealous and envious, or they are dealing with somebody, or they have an ex that's jealous and envious. I feel like for some people right now, whatever you are moving into, even if you have a person around you right now, if they have a jealous, envious person around them and they're not doing anything about it, it's one of those situations where you're like, you know what, if you can't check your friends and family I'm going to check you and I'm going to ask you to leave because like you just don't need this negativity around you. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. You have a very rare gift. Something special is going to be given to you. And I feel like spirit is saying you, you cannot have this snake around you. Somebody keeps they, somebody wants you to go around and around with them doing the same thing. You have some kind of celebration coming up. Somebody could be relocating or traveling or whatever, but there's a toxic situation or person around you. Somebody here who is just a total, they're a hot mess and they keep coming around you with all of this sadness. And it's like, you need to get this out of the way. Some of you, I don't know, it's something here with real estate, travel, or relocation. You're trying to get the key to something here, or you're trying to start a business or whatever the case is. Somebody here is, they're not receiving good news, okay? And the fact that you're receiving good news, love offers or whatever, they don't really like it. Somebody around you is very, is secretly jealous and envious. And I feel like you, as you cleanse your space, you need to get this person out of your space, because they're 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 projecting some kind of energy that's just not good. Yeah, the Empress and the Six of Wands. You're shining bright. You have victory and success. Somebody is paying close attention to this and they're jealous. Three of Wands. More success is coming. This has somebody stressed out. But you need to monitor your stress as well. Don't let people stress you out, please. It's something really, really big coming. It's a golden opportunity, like I said before. Yeah. Pull that sword out, use your masculine energy and move forward. Cut anybody off right now, especially a distorted masculine. Cut them off. Just let it go. This person keeps on trying to rush towards you as if like they are intelligent and they can make up their mind to do something. But I feel like no matter what this person is rushing towards you to do, you still feel trapped. So spirit is saying, yeah, walk away so that you can have justice which is the sun for you. And when you walk away, you're also going to find out where a lot of this chaos, conflict, confusion, and all these feelings of you being depressed, disappointed, and bored is coming from. It's coming from this person. And the queen of cups here, you being very intuitive and empathic, you're picking it up. Yeah, you're sharing, you're sharing emotions with this person because you're sharing energy with them. When you, it's like when you get somebody away from you, a lot of stuff is just going to clean, like clear up. This person is carrying a very heavy energy and it's affecting you. They, they need to go. So if you've reconnected with a, an ex, 
you should probably know this by now. They're like, oh man, ever since I started back talking to this person, you know, I'm not sticking to my goals. I'm sad. I'm upset. You know, they're bringing drama. Or if you are entertaining somebody now, you should know. It's like, hey, whenever this person comes to my house, it I don't feel it's at peace. Or, you know, it's, it's something with the energy here that's shifting. You have the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. And the Ace of Swords, yeah. Once you get the clarity you want, like, love is going to come in. But this is self-love, of course. Yeah, be careful who you're giving and receiving with. Because there's conflict and drama coming from somewhere, as well as jealousy and envy. Um, let's just pull some oracle card, message of love oracles to see what they say about this possible love connection. And then Okay, you have here and now it says your true love is already part of your life. You and this person don't share the same vision. I don't know why. Every time, This is the like, second time I've seen this card today. And every time I read this different pages card, I get a totally different meaning. So like I said, for some of you, your person could be a part of your life. But maybe there needs to be a separation. Maybe you and this person, you just don't have the same vision about something. That's going to require some type of communication. Okay, it says it's a destined partnership. It's faded. But you and this person right now, you're on different pages. And I don't know if this is because you're working on something in your life and they're working on something. It's like divergent dreams. You and this person both right now are perhaps pouring into yourself. And I feel like that's kind of a seasonal thing. You know, everybody right now is like, new year, new me. Your focus really isn't on your, your person. And that's not a bad thing. I feel like you and another person are both like deciding to go after your own goals and aspirations. And that could have some, be causing some chaos and conflict. Not to mention the fact that you have people outside of you that are also like sending their jealousy and envy towards you as well. Wow, twin flame. So whatever this connection is... <laughs> We're not going to sit here and deny the fact that it's something here that is destined, but you need to reject some type of third party energy interference of X or something else. Something that is coming in to intrude on this relationship, you need to make sure that you're rejecting it. So if a person is entertaining a friend, family member, an ex or whatever, you need to reject it. Some of you too, whoever this person is, you can trust them. But if somebody out here that you've had like a strictly sexual connection with or your person has, that person is trying to come back around. I feel like you can trust your person to reject somebody who is interfering in the connection or they can trust you. I don't really feel like whatever this interference is, that for some of you, I don't think that it's going to work. Yeah, you already know the answer that you see. If you, So if you're wondering, like, is somebody kind of creeping back, trying to come back in, they are. But I don't feel like you or your person are taking the bait. Not just yet. And let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> Some of you, though, you are dealing with like a twin frame or a soulmate. They're in your life now. The two of you may be on different pages or you feel some kind of disconnect because of some outside influences or interference. This could f make you feel rejected also, especially like if they're working on something with their career, their finances, or you are. There's just a disconnect here. And your intuition is telling you that there is red flags. I feel like there, there are some red flags. But I also feel like this is something that it'll be okay. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So don't try to control the situation. You've already mastered some type of spiritual lesson here. You, you don't have to try to control this. Being in your feminine energy. Sitting back and... Caring for yourself and working on your own healing is what's going to, and having boundaries is going to manifest into something that is, um, for, like, good for you. Yeah, your person is here and now, but you need to have boundaries with them. You need to express to somebody, hey, 
we're not on the same page. So some of you, you need to have a conversation because you're, you and this person are starting to feel rejected by one another. And it could be because you're dealing with your own shadow.